Anatomy of a Fall is a 2023 French legal drama written and directed by Justine Triette and stars Sandra Hewler and Swan Alert. Let's take a look. Hey guys, thanks for coming to Cinema Bear. My name is Eric Ortiz. Before we begin, please do me a massive favor and hit that subscribe button. As it stands right now, I'm only 999,915 subscribers away from a million, so with your help, I can get to that magic number. So, Anatomy of Fall. Anatomy of Fall, we follow Sandra Hurler's character, who plays a woman named Sandra, who is on trial for the death of her husband. And in terms of story, that's as far as I'll go, because this movie has a very unique plot that plays almost like the ultimate episode of Law & Order. To be honest with you, half the time they went into trial, I expected the little dung dung from Law & Order to happen, because the courtroom scenes in this movie are just intense and remarkably well acted. It feels like if you're watching something like 12 Angry Men done on Broadway, where these actors are just like going at each other, it's like a sword fight. And sometimes it's tragic, sometimes it's very scary. It's easily to see how your words or your situation can be manipulated and used against you. It's, it's a very well done story about how the legal system can manipulate perceptions of people. In terms of the performances, they're pretty fantastic all the way around. The real standup for me was Milo Garner, who plays um, Sandra's son. There is this level of tragedy that this young actor captures in his face that it, it shows that he's gonna have a remarkable career because there's never a moment where I thought that he was lying or playing to the camera. Um, this is one of those movies that lives or dies on the quality of his performances because there really is no action. There is some documentary-esque style of picking up you know, evidence for the courtroom and chronicling what events occurred that led to the um, death of Sandra's husband, but ultimately it's all about how the actors react to it and how we feel seeing them react to it. In terms of the directing, Justin Tria does a pretty fantastic job. She does this thing where it feels like you're watching a documentary. We're not really seeing a movie play out in the traditional way. It's almost as if we're seeing a half movie, uh, half chronicle of the investigators and the lawyers and the detectives trying to figure out what actually happened. And then you get these courtroom scenes, as mentioned before, that are just shot with this energy and this almost macabre energy of you don't know who's telling the truth. And you kind of, even at the end of the movie, with the conclusion being what it is, I won't give it away, you still aren't sure as to what actually occurred or what the truth actually is. So yeah, it's a pretty damn well directed film overall. Guys, in the end, Anatomy of Fall is just an absolute and excellent film. I was really pleasantly surprised with just how engaging the courtroom scenes really were and just how invested I was in the defense attorney and the prosecutor just trying to get to their version of the truth and how, in many ways, the law manipulates perceptions of what the truth actually is and how we're all, we're all in danger of having our worst moments come out at the wrong time. And yeah, that's my honest take on Nightingale Fall. Really, really great film. I strongly recommend it. And please come back next time and we'll take a look at Zone of Interest, written and directed by Jonathan Glazer and starring Christian Friedel and Sandra Hewlett. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section what's your favorite courtroom drama. Was it A Few Good Men? Was it 12 Angry Men? Was it Mr. Smith Goes to Washington? I'd love to hear about it. Thank you again for watching. My name is Eric Ortiz. This has been Cinema Bear, and I'll see you for the next one. Take care.